been over a decade now since my late wife passed away and since then, particularly with the work of the Clinical Human Factors Group, the charity I founded in 2007, I can see that we've started to make a real difference in how people think in healthcare, not just at the frontline level but at senior levels as well. The challenges though don't get any easier, they actually get harder. Healthcare is increasingly becoming uh, so saturated with demand and so limited with resources that it's hard to see how we move forward. The current Secretary of State has made a great play, for example, on the use of technology, and I have no doubt that technology is going to be a real enabler. But at the same time, we can't just throw in solutions without making sure they're designed. And that's really where human factors comes in. The focus that we need to have over the coming years really needs to be on the design of the system but also a continuing focus on the development of what we consider to be the appropriate behaviours in the front line of healthcare and indeed all the way through the chain of command in the NHS.